So last time I told you guys this equation, the square root of the square root of the square root of x is equal to 2, and the answer for that is x is equal to 2 raised to the 2 times 2 times 2, right? So if you haven't seen that video, check that out in the description. Well, last time I also asked you guys that how can we possibly get an equation so that the answer is actually going to give us x equals 2 raised to the 2 to 2 like this. And I would like to know what equation will give us that. So that's the question. So we have to kind of work backwards. So here's the deal. Let me introduce you guys logarithm if you haven't seen that before. But if you have, that's the key. We will use logarithm. So I will start with our answer, which is x equals 2 raised to the 2, 2, 2 like this. All right. So I will take the log with this base. We are going to get rid of that first. So we take log base 2 like this. And we do so on both sides. Yeah. So this and that cancel and just have that. So we have log base 2 of x equals 2, 2, 2, right? Like this. And to get rid of this 2, of course, let's just put on log base 2. And then again, log base 2. Yeah, cancel. And this is a lot of fun, actually. So now we have log base 2 of log base 2 of x. And then this is still 2 to the 2. So one more time, we just have to do log t base 2. So that we can cancel this and that. And of course, let's just put down log. And then remember, this is like a composition. You're applying the log. This is not multiplication. This is that you put this inside of a log function. So finally, you can actually end up with an equation which is going to be 1 log base 2 of the other one and then we have one more so a total of 3 of them and then the input is 3 so 1 and then 1 2 so 2 3 and then if this is your equation then that would be the answer right so be sure you know the difference that's it